The choices that you make right now determine how far you go or how high you rise or how low you will be. If you are to become significant in your financial journey, it is you that is going to make it happen. People will advise you, but the buck stops with you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you're watching us from. My name is Simon K, uh, bringing you the financial diet. Always excited and very happy to be with you and to talk to, to you about our financial matters. We always say here, it's the, the financial diet, it's diet, food, like food that you eat, uh, physical food that you eat. Uh, if you eat, or, uh, you, if you eat, you will get better. If you do not eat, there are things that happen to you. When you don't eat, sometimes we fast because we are bloated, and sometimes you uh, eat because you've been hungry. You have to feed, you have to drink water, you have to do all these things to stay healthy. You don't stop. If you stop, they say within three days, you can go without food within, uh, for three days. After three days, you die. And if you're drinking, uh, uh, eating and drinking healthy, you live and live longer. And sometimes the habits uh, that people indulge in uh, matters, uh, food, food, and those habits are des destructive. And here on the financial diet, our desire and our hope is that you uh, get better. We always say that there are three stages. There is the financially astute. There are those that are financially, uh, the, the bottom uh, category is the financially struggling. And there are them that are in between. They're not astute and they're not struggling. And our desire is that all of us will grow and get better and remain at the financially astute level. If you are financially astute that you will remain there uh, because it becomes easy to get to number one, uh, to, get to, to get at the top, but it becomes very difficult for you to remain there. But our desire here is that if you're financially astute that you remain there. If you're struggling, don't worry. That's why sometimes we say some few things that we say. So, but uh, our desire is that you move and progress and you get better and remain there. And we're always very happy and very excited to get feedback from you or to listen to you talking to us, reaching out to us on our, our platforms here on our Wema TV. And uh, we are always grateful to hear people improving, people getting better, people are growing financially. That's our joy. That's my joy here at Simon K. And, and I always make sure that I, I bring in uh, research and bring, do research and get information or interact with information that we know. Or sometimes we need to be reminded, I was telling someone somewhere, that the reason why there's the book of Deuteronomy in the Bible is these guys had been told and given the rules, uh, uh, don't steal, don't uh, kill, don't covet. All these rules had been said to them again. But with time, human nature, we forget some of these things. And that, that's why Deuteronomy came and these guys had to be reminded of those things that they had been told, told before. Sometimes it's good to be reminded about uh, basic things that we think uh, are normal and obvious. And, uh, and, and, and uh, people know stuff, but sometimes uh, something will be said to you and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I think that is right. Now, today uh, I, I'm, I'm talking about you the viewer, you, the listener, uh, you that is watching us today, I'm talking to you about you. Uh, on this money journey, who is the most significant person? Is it me? I know I am important, that's why you're watching sometimes. Uh, but is it me or is it you that matters? And I think the answer is very clear and uh, that's why today I decided to talk to you about you. Um, don't listen, don't look at the other person, but uh, focus on you. Today we are talking to you about you on this financial journey. We've talked about the four levels. It is you who knows where you are at. It is you who knows that you're, whether you're financially astute. It is you who knows that you're, whether you're in the second category. Or it is you that knows whether you're in the third category of the financially struggling. You know where you are at. People will tell you, you'll dress up, you will look good, you will um, want to uh, fake it till you make it. 
But the truth is that you know exactly where it is that you are at. You know whether you're starting in the life of in the, in the life journey or whether you're growing or whether you're getting better or whether you used to make it but right now you have made missteps or you have made steps that, that were not right and those missteps have been costing you and I want you to look at you as we talk to you about you and our topic today is you and I'm saying you matter you matter on this journey we can say many things we can quote many scriptures you can read many books you can be motivated you can be uh, challenged to do many things you can even be told how to uh, seven ways of creating and constructing a working budget or you can be told about the importance of saving you can be told about retirement and the importance of saving for retirement and uh, and you can be told about uh, emergency funds or, or what we call a contingency f uh, contingency fund because uh, i told someone uh, sometimes you will uh, sometimes you will be uh, told about a contingency fund uh, or someone was was telling us telling me please don't use the word emergency fund because when you call it an emergency fund those emergencies will come so we call it a contingency fund we tell you about a contingency fund saving for six months that if anything happens to you you have expenses up to six months we can tell you all these things and it's wonderful to be telling you about all these things but when you get this information what do you do with you with this information how does this information help you to get better as a human being as a christian as a muslim as a hindu whoever you are how does this information better you do you spend time like for example uh we're coming to almost the end of the month do you or the beginning of the month or beginning of the year uh, there's a season, there's a cycle. There are people who have the financial year, if it's a company financially ending, and, and ending, uh, ending March or some ending June or some ending December, depending on where you are. Whichever place that you are at, you, how do you use this information to better prepare yourself in the next season, in the next week, in the next month, in the next year? Uh, how do you use the next five years. I remember when I, when, when I was in school, there was one exercise that we did, and we wrote down about the five year, uh, what, what will you want to be, what will you want to have accomplished five years from now, or 10 years from now, and we wrote it down. But now, question is, when you write it down, what do you do uh, about those particular uh, things and goals and objectives that you have put into place. Uh, as I've said, the biggest player is you. In this game of financial uh, prowess and financial freedom, in this financial conversation that we always have every Tuesday at 8 p.m., it is you that matters. And, 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 and I want to say a few things about you. About you yeah and point number one as i've kept saying you matter and in this important conversation that we always have you matter because it's not if you six feet under we will not be we will only be talking about the things that you did and the things that you did not do and the things that you wish you would have done you know, if you were not born, we wouldn't even be talking about you. That you are here, that God destined and brought you here on earth. There's a reason why God brought you here. And as far as finances are concerned, there is a reason why you are here. There's a reason why you're where you are right now financially. You matter in this conversation. And because you matter, I want us to go to the second thing that matters about you. Yeah? It starts and ends with you. If anything has to change, that, on point number two, that starts 
with you. If you don't do anything, it's about you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's your life at the end of the day. It is you that needs to matter. It is you that needs to improve. It is you that requires to be disciplined. It is you that requires to uh, be astute. It is you. It starts with you. Yeah? And if you don't do anything, at the end of the day, someone said, uh, not doing anything is doing something. Because if it is, for example, having a retirement fund and you desire to have a retirement fund, if you don't do anything, you will not have a retirement fund. But if you do something, you will have a retirement fund. If you, have, if you start saving and, and building up your financial buffer or, or, or your, your contingency fund or emergency fund, what other people call emergency fund, if you start building it up, six months down the line or one year down the line, you will have an emergency fund. But if you don't, you won't have. So it starts with you. It's you. It, it, it is you that matters. Number three, how far you go or how low you go, it's you that determines that. You are the master of your destiny. I know there is God, but God gives us a will and God gives us choices and allows us to make those choices. So the choices that you make right now determine how far you go or how high you rise or how low you will be. When others are talking about, uh, uh, when others are talking about uh, being prosperous, uh, others are, are having mansions, others are having uh, you know, trips to, to Maldives and all these wonderful places and they're living a life, what right now I hear people calling a soft life, a good life, they are disciplines they put into place and they have worked. Some will go high, some will go low. Uh, we are celebrating right now a few people that did exams and they passed. I know some people will talk about uh, the environments being different, the backgrounds being different, but no, you can write your own story. How high and how low you go, it's all about you. The kids that studied, the kids that didn't study, and the results will speak for themselves. They say you cannot debate and argue with, uh, with numbers. Yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they speak for themselves. The results will speak for themselves. How high? 10 years from now, 20 years from now, if you're 70, uh, when you're 90, you know, how will your 90 year look like? If you're 15 or you're 20 right now, how will your year number 40 look like? How will your 31st look like? You know, <laughs> yeah, there was someone who said that they are 31st. How will your 31st look like? It is you who determines how high and how low you go. It is you. It is you. And then, number three, number four, sorry. People will advise you, but the buck stops with you. There was one president who said, the, had a plaque written, the buck stops here. The things, the, the person that makes decisions is you. The person that decides this is going to change is you. The person that says this is acceptable, I will enforce this, is you. And we say it, today we are talking about you as far as finances are concerned. The person that decides that I am 60 years old, and my peers have progressed beyond me, but I will not give up. I will fight. I will make sure that I put in effort. I will work. I did not have a privileged background, but I will put in effort and make my future different. Is you. There are men and women that have decided that against all odds, you know, I started some people build empires, and, 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 and after building empires, you know, those empires collapsed because of some missteps that they did and they had to start again. They decided and they purposed in their lives. 
I like, I like quoting uh, Steve Harvey. And he was saying that he has, uh, has had his marriages fail three times. He has been bankrupt. He has slept in a car. But look at him right now. He made up his mind that in spite of all that, that he will pick himself up and move and move and make something out of his life. It is him. You cannot, you know, the buck stops with you. It is you. You know, you will tell us all the wonderful things. You will say all the great things. But at the end of the day, you are the master of your destiny. The buck stops with you. And then, number five, it is you who makes yourself matter. If you are to become significant in your financial journey, it is you that is going to make it happen. Someone said, if you think you can't, you, and if you think you can't, however you think it, you're right. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So it is up to you. It is you that is going to make yourself matter. When they are sitting in the table and making decisions, Will you be part of them that are going to be the subject of the discussion? Or will you be the person that is going to be making decisions or muttering? Are you going to be that person that a, a meeting cannot start before you get there? Because your financial prowess and financial uh, empire requires you to be consulted. The companies, you, was, you have to be considered for boards of companies because you matter. You know, I know some of you are thinking, that is not for me, and you're right. Others are thinking, man, that is for me, and they're right. So it is you that determines how you're going to matter. It is you that makes yourself matter. You have to work. You have to get disciplines, you know, that, that disciplines, you have to pray, you have to get connections, you have to know how to deal with people, how to talk to people. It is you that matters. And number six, you're writing your own story. You know, God gives you 24 hours every day, gives us all 24 hours every day. What you do with that time, and there's a time I talked about the importance of time, time being money. What you do with that time makes a, significance, a significant difference. People will utilize it well. Others will misuse and waste that time. But the results are going to show. You know, it is you that writes your own story. You sit down and say, that 10 years from now, as I said, I will matter. 10 years from now, I want to have done A, B, C, D. 10 years from now, or 20 years from now, I want to be here. I will have made X amount of money, and from that 10 years, I'll use that X amount of money in the next 20, 10 years to double that amount of money. Let me use numbers. I want to have made 100,000 or 100 million or 1 million in the next 10 years. After that, that 10 years, I will have made that 1 million. I will make that 1 million, 7 million in the next 10 years. And you work around that. Come up with what will I do to make that money in the next 10 years, 1 million. What should I do? What efforts should I put in place? You write that story. You consult, yes. You talk to people who have made monies like that. And then if by 10 years you will not have gotten there, it is you who sits down and says, I think I made mistakes, mistake A, mistake B, mistake C. You can even sit down with an expert and tell them, I made mistake A, mistake B, mistake uh, C. How do I improve? Because I still want to accomplish 
that 7 million that I targeted 10 years ago and work towards that story. Write your story. If you do not like what you, a life looks like, change the script. Change how your story looks like. And you can do that. The Bible says you can do all things, even changing your story, even starting. There was a time I told you guys that you can start again. You can rewrite that story again. And then the last one, with God on your side, you are undefeatable. God makes you, it is he that gives you strength and gives you power to create wealth. Deuteronomy. It is God that gives you power to make wealth. It is he that made you. You are his. And with him, you too will make a formidable team. You will make a great team. You are on the winning side. He put you together and he put the environment around you. He says that nothing comes to you that you can't handle. If, for example, last year and last year but one, COVID affected you so much and your businesses collapsed, uh, you started other businesses and they didn't make it, every time you're from one debt to another debt, you're almost being auctioned, you're, you're having all those things uh, around you, I can assure you, I was reading a story of when Jesus, uh, when Peter asked Jesus, if it is you, call me and, uh, and, and let me come. And uh, he started sinking because there were storms around him. And the Bible says, he called out to Jesus and, Je and told Jesus, save me. And maybe you're in financial trouble, and I think, I feel like I'm preaching a little, Maybe you're in financial trouble and you're in financial uh, strain. Call on him. Call on God and he will help you. And he will make you a better person. Because with him, he knows he's the manufacturer. He's the one that put you together. He, he has put, he put this environment around you called earth for you and then put you here. He did not put you here. And then uh, he did not put you on earth before the earth was created. He first created the earth. He first provided the resources that you need and then placed you here. So he has already provided all that you need for you to prosper, all that you need for you to excel. So work with him. Let him identify for you or lead you into the places that you need to be. Let him show you what you need to do. Call him every morning. Talk to him. Not just every morning and then you meet in the evening. You tell him, thank you very much, we'll meet in the evening. No, walk with him during the day. Every hour of the day, talk to him. Have conversations with him. Because he also matters in your life. As we said, the most important person in this conversation is you. So... He is interested in your success as much as you're interested in your success because he made you. He is the one that formed you. He's the one that put you together. So he does not want you to fail. You know, and, and sometimes some people think because failure has, uh, failure has, uh, has, has, has shown signs and, and you're seeing things that speak to you like failure, they give up. And they resign. I was reading a story, a very sad story of, of a guy. He had an empire uh, somewhere, somewhere along where Yakiwe had an, an empire. And he made some few missteps. He made some few steps that were not right. And, 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 and struggled. The empire is there, but some few things were weighty. Some debts were heavy on him. And this guy, instead of looking at a way around debt and how to manage it and how to get out of it and how to, you know, there are many solutions around it. He took his life and the empire is almost done. Someone else will benefit from that, but he's gone. 
You know, involve God even in those very difficult scenarios and situations. Make sure he is involved. You matter and make sure that when we are writing your story, we will write a prosperous story. We will write a great story about you. As I said in this money conversation, you matter. It is nice talking to you about you and we are happy here at Wema TV, when you grow and get better, we are happy. When you call us and when you text us, when you write to us, reach out to us and tell us about how this program is changing you, is improving you. You matter in your money conversation. Dream big and with God you will actually achieve it. Whatever it is that you think, you know, expand your horizon. Get to people that think and talk big and think big and people that are doing stuff that is big. And guess what? They were created by God like you and you can make it. You have no reason to become a failure. You have no reason for us to write a sad story about you that you wrote for yourself. God bless you and you matter. Have a wonderful week.